welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to do a what is in my baby's hospital bag. I will also be filming a what is in my hospital bag but I thought if I put them both in the same video it will be long and we know I am partial to a long video but I think even by my standards it could be a little bit extreme. For those of you that don't know me and have just stumbled across this video I am Becca, I'm 27 and I'm expecting my first baby following um, infertility and recurrent miscarriage in around six weeks time. Ah! So today I'm just doing what is in baby's hospital bag and for baby's hospital bag, I am actually using my changing bag, which um, my friends Lauren and Katie got me for my baby shower and it is the Cam Cam quilted changing bag in charcoal gray. So I'm just gonna dive straight in and show you what is in there. If there's anything you think I've missed, please let me know. Um, I found the whole knowing what size clothes to pack a little bit stressful. So I keep having to remind myself that we live about 10 minutes away from the hospital in the car and Andrew can just come back for things. Um, but I've probably packed way too much clothes wise. But you know, first time mum, it's exciting. I wanted to pack things. So yeah, I'm just gonna dive in, show you what I have packed and let me know what you all think. So first things first, I have packed two blankets. Is that excessive? I don't know. But I have packed um, my rainbow blanket, which my beautiful friends bought me for my baby shower. And I have bought this, A, because it's a lovely soft blanket, but B, and don't judge me for this because I'm sure we all think about that first Instagram post but I really want his first um, Instagram picture where I introduce him to everybody I really want it to be on this blanket um, as he's my little rainbow baby and I just think I just love this blanket and it's really special and yeah that's the main reason I'm packing that although it can go on his car seat blah 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 keep him warm it's really soft it's lovely um, but it is mainly for Instagram I'm not gonna lie Oh, I should also point out I haven't washed any of this stuff yet. So all the blankets, all the clothes, all the muslins and things like that still need washing. Um, so that is on my to-do list for this weekend. So the second blanket I am packing is this Dreamcatcher one. This was from Buffalo and Bear. I don't actually know if I've shown this in a video, but it is a lovely um, jersey blanket that I just thought would be really comfy and soft and I can put on his car seat. And I think this is a really good one for swaddling as well. I've seen people on Instagram use this as like a swaddle blanket. So yeah, I'm packing that one as well. Is that extreme? You tell me. So clothing wise for baby boy, I've packed four sleep suits in a bit of a range of sizes. So I've packed this one, which is size not to one months from Zara. Um, and it's just got little teepees on. Just thought that was really cute and a good size. So I've packed that one. I've also packed this one from Next, which I believe is in first size. And somewhere in the bag, I've got the matching bodysuit and hat to go with this. So yeah, it's just a little monochrome I Love Milk sleep suit. I've packed this one from Lara Dute, which um, looks really, really small. I think this is probably the smallest one I've packed. Um, it is in size one month, but Lara Dute sizes come up really small. Um, and it's just this little one with mustaches all over it, which I am thinking I might use um, for him to come home in. So I've packed that one. And finally, and the one I'm possibly most excited about, is this sleep suit which I'm gonna have to be careful to show you as it does actually have his name on and again a bit sad on the Instagram front but I've actually ordered this um, for his first Instagram post when I introduce him to the world um, so it is this white sleep suit I ordered it on not on the high street I will link it in the down bar if you're interested and I um, don't know whether you can see that but it's got this kind of scroll design and it says hello I'm and his name on it Oh, it's so cute. It's really lovely and soft as well. This is in newborn size and I just cannot wait to put him in this and introduce him to everybody. So yeah, I absolutely love that. It's a very, very special little purchase and something I will definitely keep in like a keepsake box afterwards. I've also packed a variety of little bodysuits in various sizes, um, which I'll quickly just whiz through. Um, this one is again I think in first size from next it just goes with that milk sleep suit and it's the little bodysuit. I've packed this teeny tiny little one which was from Tesco I believe I got this as part of the baby shower gift Um, this is in newborn but it looks tiny and it's just got little grey stars on. A plain white short sleeve one from next in up to one month so that's slightly bigger. Um. This one from Asda in not three months, just in case he's a chunk, you never know. Another short sleeve next one in up to one month, don't know if I need both of those. 
And finally, a white long sleeve one from Georgia Asda, again in not three months. So yeah, quite a variety of bodysuits in different sizes. Um, I probably won't need them all, but I don't know how big he's going to be. And you have to put them under clothes, especially for autumn winter babies. So thought it was better to be safe and have more than less. I have also packed a little cardigan, which is this little navy one I got from John Lewis. Um, so when I was saying I was considering this Lara Duke sleep suit as his coming out outfit, I would put him in that with the little navy cardigan over the top, which I think is really, really cute. So that is contender for coming a home outfit. But I have also packed some little leggings. We know I love leggings. I had fully intended to just bring him home in a sleep suit, but I know a lot of people do like a proper coming home outfit. So I've packed an option just in case. And I have packed these tiny little newborn leggings. I don't think I've shown these before. I picked these up in TK Maxx and they're these grey little leggings. They're really, really cute. They've got like bears and arrows and raccoons and like all woodlandy creatures on. And I also got a matching bib. So that's another potential coming home outfit just with a little white vest and probably the cardigan underneath as well. I've also packed a few muslins. So I've packed this one which I got from Lily Denison Designs um, who I found on Instagram and it is this really nice muslin square. It's really really soft and it's like this teal colour with foxes on. So I've packed that one. And then I've also packed two slightly bigger ones that can be used as swaddles as well. I packed this Turtle Dove London XO print muslin swaddle and also this grey elephant one from John Lewis which is absolutely huge and could definitely be used as a swaddle. I've also packed a little bit of a ridiculous selection of hats. To say I'm not fussed on hats and I'm hoping he has hair and the whole world will need to see it because I love baby hair. Um, I have packed a whole variety of hats but again it sounds silly but I just found myself stressing like I don't know how big his head's gonna be. So this one is a teeny tiny option um, and it just matches the little star print bodysuit I showed before that was from Tesco. I've also packed the little black and white monochrome milk one that goes with the sleep suit from Next. I've packed this which is ridiculous, I love it. This was from Buffalo and Bear and it is a little bonnet that ties under the chin, how ridiculous, um, in the same Dreamcatcher print as the blanket. Again, thinking of Instagram there, probably should not be but I am. And then finally I've packed this one which came in a little set from H&M that I got for my baby shower and it is just like a teal one with little ears that I thought was really cute so I've packed that as well. I've then packed a little grey pair of scratch mitts. I think these were just from Primark. Most of the sleep suits I've packed do have scratch mitts kind of already attached but I thought it was better to pack a separate pair just in case. And I've also packed a little pair of socks for if I decide to put him in the leggings outfit. These are just some grey badger socks. I've also packed a little soft flannel just in case he needs a wipe. I don't know. I don't know if you need them in hospital, but I've packed a flannel just in case. I've packed this little toy from Mother Care, which I absolutely love. And it's got like little textured ears and it's like a little rattle as well as being a little snuggle thing. So I've packed him that. I've packed some nappy bags. Definitely hoping I don't need a hundred. Um, so I'll probably just take a few of these out and put them in loose rather than packing the whole bag of nappy bags. But yeah, nappy bags. I've also packed one dummy. I don't know if we'll use dummies or not, but I'm not personally against them, especially when they don't have teeth yet. Um, so this is the Philips Event Mini for not two months. It's like a completely newborn one. It's quite small. I have packed some Aveeno Baby Barrier Cream, which is like a nappy cream to prevent nappy rash. I don't know if you're allowed to use this when they're newborn. I know they only want you to use like water and cotton wool. Are you allowed to use barrier cream when they're born? I've packed it anyway because it says um, formulated for newborn skin, but let me know. I don't know if I'm allowed, but I've packed it. I've packed eight nappies. Don't know how many nappies I'm gonna need. I've no idea. Um, I've packed eight. Is that enough for a hospital stay? As I say, Andrew can knit back. We live like 10 minutes away or there's boots in the hospital. So it's not the end of the world. If we run out, we can buy some more or go back and get some more. Um, so for now, I've just packed eight nappies. I've packed a pack of water wipes. I hear great things about these. And I just imagine they're a lot less faff than using cotton wool and water. Um, and they feel lovely and squishy. 
Um, so I've packed a pack of water wipes. I've also packed this little Tommy Tippy set, which I got in John Lewis the other day. And this is just one of the little like newborn care kits. Um, you get like a little hairbrush, nail clippers, um, a thermometer, one of them things that's for like getting nasties out of their nose. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll need that in hospital, but I packed it anyway. Can never be too prepared. And lastly, but not least, I have packed a little bottle. How cute is that? It's one of the little Tommy Tippy bottles. And I've also packed two of the Cow and Gate First Infant Milk formulas. I intend to breastfeed. I would love to be able to breastfeed, but I think it's better to be prepared. Not everyone can breastfeed. I don't know how labour's gonna go. I don't know if my milk will come in. There's just a million things. I would rather feel prepared and have a bottle of milk at the ready just in case, but I do hope I'll be able to breastfeed. So that is everything in my baby's hospital bag. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for this video and I'm gonna go and film my hospital bag video now. Should probably change my top to make it look like a different day, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video with my hospital bag instead. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do let me know if I've forgotten anything. Um, you can tell me I've overpacked if you want, but I probably won't take anything out. I like to be prepared. Um, yeah, and I will leave it there and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.